Bill DeWitt was the general manager of the Cincinnati Reds. In December of 1965, he was explaining to the media why he traded Frank Robinson when most people thought Matt Frank Robinson was one of the best players in baseball. Well, he's a great player, but he's 30 years old, and I think he's an old 30. Now was the time to make the move. An old 30, he's coming off a great year. Now, you watch. He's an old 30. And now is the time to make the move. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about Frank Robinson. And I think at the end of this discussion, you're going to agree with me that Bill DeWitt was totally wrong on his assessment of Mr. Robinson. Welcome to Productive Discourse. Productive Discourse is a conversation where we talk about the positive activities that take place within our communities. In other words, we're constantly searching for our shining needle of common ground in that haystack of fear. Today, we're continuing our conversation on the great athletes that got their starts on the playgrounds and sandlots of Oakland, California. We're talking about athletes that exhibited what I call the three E's. Energy, enthusiasm, and excellence. Into their passion were many turned pro and won championships. Some were elected to their sports halls of fame. And a good deal of them came back and served their community. Today, we're going to talk about a McClyman's High School warrior, Frank Robinson, who knew how to win championships. He teamed up at McClyman's High on the basketball team with NBA Hall of Famer Bill Russell. On the baseball team, he teamed up with another Major League Baseball legend, Kurt Flood. He got his first taste of winning championships when he was 15 years old on Oakland's American Legion team, when he helped that team win a national championship. After graduating from a climate's high, he went into baseball as a profession and was a rookie in 1956 with the Cincinnati Reds. Baseball was a right decision as he won rookie of the year that year. His baseball career was 21 years. In those 21 years, he hit 586 home runs. He helped his team go to five World Series. Twice, his team won the World Series. He was elected most valuable player of his league twice. The year after he was traded to the Baltimore Orioles, he won the Triple Crown, an incredibly rare feat where the player hits the most home runs, has the highest batting average, and has the most runs batted in of anybody in the league. Frank Robinson played for the Cincinnati Reds, the Baltimore Orioles, the Los Angeles Dodgers, California Angels, and in 1975, 28 years after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, Frank Robinson was hired by the Cleveland Indians as the first African-American manager. In fact, he was not only the manager, he was a player on the team, a player manager. In his first game, he hit a home run <laughs> in a winning effort. Talk about a flair for the dramatic. He hits a home run that contributes to his first team or his first win as a manager. In addition to what I call the three E's, Frank Robinson also had an abundance of determination, grit, and toughness. And that all showed because he not only hit almost 600 home runs, over his 21-year career, he was hit by 198 pitches. 
<laughs> Could you imagine almost 10 times a year getting hit by a pitch? But he pressed through. And after a successful career as a player, a successful career as a manager, he went to the major league front office where he served in several executive positions and worked closely with Commissioner Bud Selig. Off the field, or outside of baseball, in 2005, President George W. Bush awarded Frank Robinson the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, an interesting side note, President Barack Obama in 2012 presented the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Frank Robinson's classmate, Bill Russell. How many high schools do you know have two people from the same class that got a Presidential Medal of Freedom? Now, Frank Robinson passed at the age of 83 in 2019. In a nutshell, Frank Robinson was a McClyman's High Warrior who made us proud. He had an impact inside Oakland and abroad with determination, grit, and toughness. We were wowed. I so much enjoy talking about these great athletes out of Oakland. I hope you enjoy it too. We're going to be back next week and we're going to talk about Frank Robinson's classmate, Bill Russell. I hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to know more about what we do, please go to productivediscourse.home.blog. It gives great information about our activities and how you can contact me if you'd like me to speak at your service club, community organization, your religious group, or your Toastmasters club. So come back next week when we talk about Bill Russell. But in the meantime, please like, share, comment, subscribe, so this message will go far and wide. And we'll find that shiny needle of common ground, that haystack of fear. Fearless.